What are heavy duty trucks good for? They're good for hauling gigantic, heavy, big, long loads. And the truck we have today is a new 2019 Ram Heavy Duty 3500 dually with a high output 1,000 pound foot of torque diesel. Yes, and we're pulling a 50 foot trailer. Talk about big. And we're gonna do a 100 mile loop to see what kind of fuel mileage we get with a loaded trailer, which you don't find anywhere else but TFL truck. Exactly. Today our test trailer is a Cimarron North Star. It's a 10 horse trainer trailer. This is what the big boys who make all the money in the horses, haul their horses into the shows and when you know the sales and all that. Really a cool trailer. And it is 50 feet long. You know, semis now are 53 feet long. The old ones were 48 foot. So we're right up there as long as the semi. We're gonna have to put diesel in, in the semi islands. As always, this towing review is brought to you by our friends at Trans West. Check them out using the link below for your truck, trailer, and RV needs. This 2019 Ram Heavy Duty is a new truck. Right, right. But not everything is new. How about in this video we go over what's changed and what stays the same? Well, that's good because they have changed a lot of stuff, whether it's brakes or radiator, whatever it is, they know they had to make it better to pull those kind of loads. Here are the running water. We're still filling up water totes, trying to get ready to go. This trailer is massive, but because it's aluminum, the only thing to steal is the axle, trolley, and the gooseneck. So it's lazy. it weighs less than 11,000 pounds, which is pretty awesome. So we're putting all these water totes in here. You've got like, I think there's six of them in here. And, you know, they're about 2,500 pounds a piece. So besides the water totes, we've got four of these 50 gallon barrels. Now water weighs eight pounds a gallon. So these weigh about 400 pounds a piece. And we've staggered them, two in the front, two in the back. We're trying to make sure we have a balanced load. And our goal is we want to get this close to 30,000. Between 29 and 30,000, I'll be happy. We want to get as heavy as we can, but we don't want to go into the three inch ball category. Right now, if we stay at 30 and under, we can use the two and five sixteenths ball. And it's really hard to find a trailer with a coupler that has a three inch ball. The displacement on this engine is still 6.7 liters, but it's not the same engine, really. No, it's not. They, of course, modified things. Higher rail pressure for the injectors, a few things with the water pump, the radiator. There's several things that they've had to upgrade on it, and the turbo's been tweaked, too, so it's got you know a little more velocity there. And the engine block is now compacted graphite iron, and they saved some weight, so that's the difference. You know, they're saving weight, they're raising their power to 400 horses and 1,000 pound-feet of torque. There's also a standard 6.7 liter Cummins diesel with 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. But this is the big boy with an ASIN six-speed automatic transmission. Especially for a fuel economy loop, you need to know exactly what your diesel particulate filter is like because you don't want to be measuring fuel economy while you're in regen mode and you're burning off those extra particulates with extra fuel. So we have a meter here now and it'll tell us exactly when we're burning off, so we'll do that burn off before we do the MPG loop. This is a segment first, that bottom spotter mirror is power now, which is so cool. That's what you use to see what your trailer tires look like when you're going around a corner, make sure you're not going over a curb or running over somebody. So that is so cool that you can actually adjust that. Find a park spot and come get your ticket. Nice, thank you. All right, so we're filling up at the actual big boy station. Yes, we are. Yeehaw! This is an exciting pulling 50 foot trailer. Absolutely, <laughs> and we're at 29,000 pounds, That's... just under that. So this loop, 100 miles, it's basically 98 miles exactly. 49 miles one way and then another way back to the same fueling station. Yes. Um, we've done this once before with a heavy trailer, but that was less heavy. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're getting up there in weight. These trucks keep gaining weight, and so do our trailers. I spoke with the exterior designers on the new Ram Heavy Duty, and they told me that when the engineers brought the new radiator, it was so large, they weren't sure exactly how to style the truck. They tried some vertical lights, but then they worked it out. They made the fenders a little bit wider, and they still kept that classic Ram look, except there's no crosshairs, but still, it's recognizable as a Ram. On this trailer from TransWest, the Cimarron 8,000 pound axles, the back one, they're all air ride. They've all got uh, airbags on them, shock absorbers, and they're also torsion. They're a hybrid axle, but the back one, I can lift it up or let it down. I've just lifted it up. It's not off the ground, but it's enough for the tire to not be scraping, to not be twisting, and all of that. So it saves your tires. Good for corners on a big, long trailer like this one. Let me push the button. And now you can hear the air going in it. And the air compressor comes on, of course. But we're putting the air in it, and you can slowly see it moving up and down. How much does that trailer cost? 117,000. <laughs> and the truck is almost 88. Yes, so we're over 200,000. Yes. I mean, this is luxurious, <laughs> heavy hauling. It is, we're driving a Ferrari here. And I'm so happy we can monitor the diesel particulate filter. Oh yeah, that's great. The gauges on this are an improvement. Yes. Like you say, you got the def tank gauge that tells you what you're doing way in advance. And it's got this gauge over here on the left side, which is your exhaust uh, brake, exhaust brake right. measured in horsepower. They've got it so cool. <laughs> Okay, so the cabs are the same as before, but the interior is all new. And this limited truck has a lot of fancy wood and leather. But let me show you some of the tech features that matter for towing. For hooking up a gooseneck trailer, you could always drop the tailgate using your key fob, if so equipped. Of course, this truck has every option. Then, if you have air helpers in the back, you could lower your bed to make hooking up a gooseneck trailer easier of course, once you get going, the bed rises again, and you're ready to go. You have 360 degree cameras. You also have a backup camera and a cargo cam, so you can check out your gooseneck. You can reconfigure the theme of your gauge cluster screen. And right now I have it on Longhorn Edition because we're hauling a horse trailer. But I set it up so I have here, down here, did my transmission temp my coolant temp, my trailer brake controller in the right, and my exhaust brake meter here. You know, before we started doing the fuel mileage on it today, I was accelerating with it, and it's amazing, and, you know, just cruising that road, you step on it, and it goes, Incredibly There's well. enough power, yes, a lot and, of power. These these Cummins, they do so well with a trailer on them. Yeah. And that's exactly how this is performing. It seems like, like that's it. what they love the best. They do. They like, loaded. they like to be loaded. They do. They yeah. run better when they're loaded. Rem is using a brand new frame for this heavy duty truck. It's a little bit stiffer and stronger and lighter. But the cab itself and the bed remain the same as the previous generation trucks. But they managed to save about 143 pounds when you compare this 2019 to the previous model year. And that's good because you're getting more payload capability, up to 7,680 pounds. And maximum tow rating on the new 2019 is 35,100 pounds. But this is not just a standard truck. This is a fully loaded limited. Let me show you the ratings on this truck. Here's a cool thing that Ram is offering. You can input your VIN number of your truck on their website and it'll give you exact payload and tow rating on your specific truck. And this is a crew cab four wheel drive dually. It has every option. It costs just over 87,000 bucks. And look, 53, 20 pounds payload and 32,360 maximum towing on this truck right here. So let's let's test the sound really quick. Oh boy, it's whisper quiet. Um, it was 62.8 and I'm talking to you at 85 decibels. Wow. 62.8 decibels. 62 is nothing, there's it's, no sound. 
you know, if they said they improved the sound level. They did. They did right. a bunch of insulating and they talked about different housings that were quieter and even their hangers on their mufflers. Right, and also changed. software so they do noise cancellation in the cab. Yeah. yeah. And the diesel, the Cummins is now a little bit quieter as well. That's true. By itself. All right, well, let's get to the pump and figure it out uh, how much fuel we used. All right, let's see how this does. All right. Let's see if I, I can spill. Diesel all over the place. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go slowly. These are high, these are high pressure pumps. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. All right, it's stop. Eleven. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh. Off. Okay, now do it. Okay, that's stuffed off. All right, let's see the damage. Eleven point two two. Ninety-eight miles divided by eleven point two two equals. Oh my goodness! That was pretty close to what the truck said, wasn't it? Yeah, the truck said eight point seven, and we have calculation eight point seven. So how was that hauling experience? Well, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a smooth ride. You got air ride on the truck, air ride on the trailer. It just floated down the road. But you know what's not so great? What? It's the fuel tank size. <laughs> yes. 8.7 mpg is a good result, but because of the 32 gallon fuel tank, you only have about 270, 250 miles of range. So you do have to stop yeah, quite that, often. A, a full day of that to me would be three stops to get fuel. That's a few too many, but... So well, you got to get those auxiliary tanks and get a chassis cab. <laughs> and that's, you know, 29,000 pounds. You know, if you're pulling those heavy loads, you're going to be filling up. Go back to tfltruck.com for my news, views, and real-world reviews, and where else? MrTruck.com. Thanks, guys. Yes.